The Klingon emblem is one of the best and most recognizable symbols in science fiction, but despite the total ubiquity of this symbol, this wasn't always the Klingon emblem. In fact, the original emblem looked almost nothing like what we know today. Let's rewind to 1967, to the original series season 1 episode Errand of Mercy, which marks the very first appearance of the Klingons in Star Trek. In this episode, we see Commander Kor reviewing a proclamation of the Klingon Empire, with a very clear symbol at the head of the page, apparently the symbol of the Klingon Empire. And we know that this isn't just some cosmetic flourish, because on the Klingon communicators, we can easily see the same symbol, suggesting that indeed this was meant to be the symbol of the Klingon Empire. We also see a variation hanging as a wall ornament in Errand of Mercy. It's not quite the same emblem as on the document, but it's clearly meant to be a variation. Now the only two confirmed instances of this emblem appearing are in Season 1's Errand of Mercy and Season 3's Elan of Troyes. But Elan of Troyes also marks the first appearance of what we know as the standard Klingon emblem. To our sensibilities, it appears rotated 90 degrees and is colored red, black, gray, and yellow. Hunting down the exact colors of this emblem isn't easy because there's apparently a lot of confusion on the issue. Many fans seem to depict this logo as red, blue, green, and yellow, but in Elan of Troyes, there's no hint of blue, and that green looks a lot more gray to me. And indeed, on a Klingon battlecruiser model donated to the Smithsonian by Matt Jeffries himself, we can see the logo in neutral lighting. This color is admittedly ambiguous, but green it is not. I can understand where the confusion comes from though, because in the animated series, this emblem does appear several times in different orientations, and the colors are far more vivid here, and the ambiguously gray point is now a bright, solid green, but notice that the black point is indeed still black and not blue. The blue confusion probably arises from production photos of the Katinga shooting miniature for the motion picture. Here the formerly black point is clearly blue, but the supposedly green point has returned to its ambiguous gray. The problem is that this logo doesn't actually appear on screen in enough clarity to make a clear judgment, but I think it is fair to consider it a canonical logo nonetheless. But these aren't the only color variations we see. In Star Trek 3, we get yet another, and this one has red and black points on a green circle. And it does raise the question, are these all reflective of a rapidly evolving official Imperial emblem, or are these more indicative of different ships, fleets, commanders, or houses? After all, it is already a fairly widely accepted theory that Klingon commanders heavily customize their ships, so maybe the emblems associated with those ships or commanders are customized as well. Another possibility is that different branches of government or of the armed forces might have different symbols and colors associated with them. Star Trek Discovery seems to suggest that different houses have different variations, and that might apply to colors as well. And different Klingon houses might also have different interpretations of what the symbols and the colors actually mean to them. A commonly accepted theory among Trekkies is that the three points of the emblem represent three daggers. But another theory, brought forward by Discovery designer Neville Page suggests that the emblem represents an inverted figure, that the ideal Klingon is one who has given his life to the Empire and metaphorically died to himself for the greater whole. These inverted figures are a repeating pattern on the Torchbearer costume, so this visual connection is canonical. But at any rate, this symbol would go on to become more standardized and more ubiquitous, and indeed would retroactively precede the original series emblem as well, appearing in both the Enterprise and Discovery era. And apparently, this this emblem dates back a millennia, even appearing on the ancient Sword of Kaelas. So canonically, that would mean that the first production Klingon symbol didn't come before the others, but is rather an outlier of some sort, apparently depicting something other than what it appears to depict. Is it Kor's personal emblem? Is it the emblem used by Klingon occupation forces specifically? We can only theorize, but this emblem isn't actually completely forgotten in the far corners of canon, because echoes of this emblem can be seen on the pin on Kor's baldric. It's not quite the same, but it definitely evokes the original logo. And this pin appears on other baldrics through the original series, and even Worf wears it in season one of The Next Generation. 
I would love to see this symbol get a second wind in Star Trek, but maybe it's just too obscure. What do you think? Did you even know about this symbol? And what do you think it means or represents? Do you have a theory as to why this appears to be the symbol of the Empire for just a few short years in canon? Let me know and discuss in the comments. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to subscribe because I post new videos every week. And with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.